source of pride for you? Yeah, for sure it is. Um, I think, like, I always look back to the, the players that were on the team before us, though, and I think it was bound to happen. I think we just had a good combination of players, but I think the players that came before us really showed us how to have consistently good work ethic um, and how to be team players and how to be selfless. And, you know, you typically need that for a national championship team. But we were also good, so. <laughs> that helps. But you guys had a 10-year reunion uh, not long ago this past basketball season. We had some of you in to talk about the national championship. And, and you mentioned something that at, at the very end of it all, it was something else that just makes you laugh. You guys pulled an upset in the Elite Eight to beat Baylor, pulled an upset in the national semifinal to beat Stanford, pulled an upset in the championship game to beat Notre Dame. You're celebrating, uh, and the confetti that drops is Notre Dame colors uh, on you. Yeah. But you crashed the party, didn't we you? We crashed the party. We had, like, it was big to us, but a small section in Conseco Fieldhouse in Indianapolis. Like, we were, like, our people were, like, up in the corner. And so, you know, everybody's just expecting for Notre Dame to win. They have 90-something percent of the fans there. So, you know, they gave us that one last slap in the face, but, I mean, we went home laughing. It was, it was, it was rude of them, but, uh, you know, we went home with the hardware, so it's all good. All that matters. <laughs> uh, Austin, 